A woman thought she was meeting a handsome man at a club. Turned out it was the devil. So as the story goes, multiple club goers knew about this man. Many women would try to get with this man from the club. It was, you know, a good looking guy. One girl was brave enough to meet up with this guy. She was the only woman that accepted his offer to dance with him. However, while they were dancing, she took a glance down at his feet and she screamed. She broke free from the man's grip and began frantically pointing downward. People saw that this man had hooves, goat hooves as feet. As people saw the hooves, he ran into the bathroom and vanished. In his wake, he left a cloud of smoke and it smelled like sulfur. And after he vanished, no one knew anything about him. The Island of the Dolls. So this place is located in Mexico City in the canal. So it is said that a man named Don Julian lived alone on this island. He stated that he found a doll floating in the water. He grabbed this doll and hung it up on a tree. He used this doll as a tribute to a girl that had passed in the canal. However, Don Julian claimed that these dolls would come to life and haunted him. Julian was actually not able to save this little girl's life. He claimed in order to get forgiveness from this girl, that's the reason why he hangs these dolls up on the tree. So it is said that this girl was found drowned in mysterious circumstances. Local legends say that the dolls move their heads and hands and arms and even open their eyes. Even some witnesses stay, they hear the dolls whispering to themselves. And after 50 years of Julian doing this, hanging the dolls up on the tree, Julian was found dead, drowned in the canal. It was the same exact spot where that little girl died. Many people believe Julian joined the spirits. El Charro Negro. So this is a legend originated in Mexico. El Charro appears at dusk in the streets and lonely sidewalks. So this is a tall, elegant looking man in a black suit. And he also has a wide brimmed hat. Many say that this is actually a demonic figure. It is said that he actually came from a humble country family. However, his ambition was so great that he actually liked to dress really nice, regardless of the money he had. After being tired of his misery, he invoked the devil, who answered his call and gave him immense amount of money for his soul. In 1966, a man named Abundio Rosas was returning to his home located on the outskirts of veracruz suddenly don abundio felt that something was following him he did not want to turn around finally built the courage to turn around and what he saw was a great black horse it was ridden by a tall skinny man that was well dressed with a black hat he had no eyes no mouth charro took out a hand that looked red with very long nails he took a bag from his waist and extended it out to Abundio. Then the black charro turned his horse without saying a word and left. But Abundio did not hear galloping from the horse. He was actually so scared that he could not eat dinner with his wife, which who was also terrified. And after that experience, he never saw him again. La Llorona, the weeping woman, is said to roam around bodies of water, warning her children who she drowned in a jealous rage after discovering that her boyfriend was cheating on her. It has been said that whoever hears her cry dies. If you hear her crying nearby, that means she's far away. And if you hear the crying far away, that means she's nearby. She actually mainly appears near women with children. She actually kidnaps children. La Lechuza. La Lechuza is also known as the Witch Owl, a witch that can shapeshift into an owl. It is said that La Lechuza was once someone that practiced white magic, who was exposed for being a witch sent to her death. Legends say that she returned from her grave as a ghost to seek revenge. In other words, she was a woman that sold her soul to the devil in order to gain supernatural powers. Every night, she transforms into an owl about five to six feet tall, face of a beautiful woman with enormous wings. When she locates a target, she sets herself in a hidden area and then will commence making strange whistling sounds, almost resembling the cry of a newborn baby. Anyone who tries to locate the source of the sound risks their lives. This day and age, most people see her when she swoops down on cars on deserted or dark 
roads. And that is the last urban legend of Mexico. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you love anything spooky, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.